Hello, hello, welcome. Hi, everybody. Okay, we got okay light. I think I'm gonna turn on more lights for the next one. We can use more light. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everyone. I am so happy that you're here. Please hit the like button on this video. It helps me um, grow on YouTube and continue making this a career that I can uh, dedicate myself to and continue bonding with you over live streams. Today we are doing Eye of the Tiger and <clears throat> depending on when you're watching this, you either have like a very rough printable. <laughs> Kitty has entered the chat. She's like, what's happening? Mamas, are you in or out? Okay, thank you. She purred at me, how cute. Um, let me bring the chair close so she can sit with me. Here, mamas. Come on. Come on. Let's see if she jumps. Will she do it? Come on, mama. She's like, I don't know if I feel it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, depending on when you're watching this, you either have a very rough principle of Eye of the Tiger or you have a really nice one. Nonetheless, let's turn to it and let's get started. Please tune your ukulele, even if you feel that it's perfectly tuned. It is always good to tune the instrument and get to know your strings. Now, it's also good to check the health of your strings. So go ahead and run your fingers under the string. And if you feel little wedges there, you might need to replace them. <laughs> oh, and uh, Super Noodle Tiff, who, who's here on the chat, she made this piece of art when I ordered the necklace. So go ahead and run your fingers under the strings. And if you feel the wedges where the frets are, it's time to change them. I do have some Daddario strings linked down below, but if you've changed your strings and, uh, yes, Maria, this is live. If you've changed your string, you've been on my mind all morning, so funny you're here. If you've changed your strings to strings that you really like, uh, please recommend them in the chat right now so that people can see some really good recommendations. Most ukuleles come with Aquila strings, but after a while, everyone kind of wants to try something new, right? I'm a little later today because I got this like spirit of like wanting to clean and organize and have a really nice space. So this is why the whiteboard is up on the wall. We've got artwork, we've got some books, a candle like what is happening and then my desk let me move the chair back um i have organized the water that i'd like to drink today i've already drank half of that so i'm excited for this and then the ottoman that the kitty likes right next to my desk so she can hang out with me so yeah i was on it today very proud of myself <laughs> and thank you for all the string recommendations Okay, today's song is not easy. This is why you were on my mind, because we're doing I Have the Tiger. Um, this song is not easy, but it is really fun. And we're doing it in the key, hi Elise, that it's in the original recording. One, for the challenge, and two, because the chords are not too crazy. We can do it. So here we have I of the Tiger. Okay. Hi, Barb. And Elisa, I haven't finalized the principle for this. I will put it back in the same uh, format. And uh, <laughs> I want to go to Spain with you guys. I'll put it on the same format once we've kind of worked out the kinks on this. Okay, so we're going to start at verse one. That's too small. But we've got C minor, F minor, B flat, C minor, twice. Go ahead and look at the sheet and look for patterns. This is form in music. The cat is in the closet that I just organized and she took something down. Lovely. What are cats for, right? I think I can space that a little better. So these transitions are not going to be easy, 
So if you find a really nice way to transition from these chords to the next one, please share it with everyone. We got C minor, F minor, B flat, C minor. And we have that twice. These chords, I'll, re I'll erase the chord charts a little later. C minor. Notice that we have a, a finger in common with C minor and F minor. So we're definitely gonna use that. I think the kitty wants out. You want out? Bye. <laughs> That's so cat. Like she turns back, she's like, well, I don't know if I want out. I just want the option. B flat. <laughs> Remember when we first started doing these and everyone like hated B-flat? Remember how everyone still does? <laughs> okay. How's that? Cool. Hi, Gloria. Yes, this class is a little advanced, but even if you're just a beginner, there is something for everyone to learn. So I recommend you hang out with us even if it's 15, 20 minutes with the goal of learning something. Okay, so give me a C minor. Um, I still dislike B flat. I'm glad you're here though, Karen, because you always help me simplify things. I like using C, C minor um, with the pinky ring and middle because when I go to F minor, the pinky is my anchor. So do that switch from C minor, breathe, F minor. And I'm not doing a specific strumming pattern. Hola, Mati! Rising up, back on the street. So one, two, three, four, F minor, two, three. So we got four beats on each. So I'm gonna add the number of beats here in case there are any new people. New people, can you please tell me, hey, it's my first time here, or comment some green emojis. Thank you, Sophia. Mucho gracias, Mati. Okay, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, so we've got C minor, one, two, three, F minor. Thank you, Ava. Now we have a real jump. However, it doesn't have to be a jump. To go to B flat, you can keep the index finger that was on F minor and just have it bar the entire thing. Look up. You can have it bar the entire first fret. So you're at F minor. You can stay there and just bar and add the middle and ring. Took my time, took my chances. Okay, so let me explain that again. From F minor to B flat, you can lay down the index finger on the first fret, okay? So F minor, one, two, three, and then lay down and add the middle and ring. Um, bar chords work a lot better if your nails are short on your fretboard hand. David, hi David Jones. And Hongo, let's do cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. This song is from Survivor. Okay, here we go. One, two, let's do four chords. One, Two, four beats each. One, two, three, F minor. One, two, three, B flat. C minor. And yes, this song is from the movie Rocky, Sylvester so Stallone. Try again. One, two, one, two, C minor. Go. One, two, three, four, F minor, two, three, B flat, back to C minor. OK, 
Okay, here's another transitional option from B flat back to C minor. If you're doing B flat the way that it is uh, dotted here, look up. If you do it this way, look up, then you can slide that, uh, that index finger to the third fret and just have it hold three strings. Look up. And go three strings. Thank you, Sol. B flat, two, three, slide, and three strings. I like that transition quite a bit. But you choose. Okay, let's do that again. Let's do it four times. One, two, C minor, four beats each. One, two, three, F minor. One, two, three, B flat. C minor. Stay on C minor. We're repeating. C minor, three, B, F minor. One. Slide to C minor. Two more times C minor. One, two, three, F minor. B flat. Hi, Ugolet and Magpie. C minor. One last time. Stay on C minor. Two, three, four, F minor. B flat. the hand, unfold the body, roll the shoulders back. Um, if you feel your fingers are too short, chances are that your thumb is all the way up here. Look up. Every time that I get someone telling me their fingers are too short, every single time I've looked at their hands, their hands have never been like too small. And this is coming from the teacher who taught Japanese elementary children in grade two how to hold a concert site is ukulele. So the problem isn't the length of your hands or your fingers. The problem is the position of the thumb. Look up. If I have the thumb up here, I can barely reach that third fret on, tree, on string G. And I have long hands. You need the thumb to be on the back and the hand to have that house for a mouse. Look at that. And then that will give you all the, you can reach chords in the back if you needed to, okay? So watch the position of the thumb. And um, somebody asked if this was just the verse. Yes, this is the verse, but verse one, verse two, and verse three are exactly the same. So this would tackle about 75% of the front page. Okay. That helps so much. Yay! When I have the thumb in the back, the uke slips off. Okay, so that is a holding problem. So put the ukulele on your lap, have the arm here, and don't depend on the thumb to hold the ukulele. It should be, you should be able to drop. Because you have here. Watch me play. fully on the fretting hand because that's gonna make every chord transition a pain and I don't want you to have a pain every time you switch chords and then that makes it hard to switch anytime you don't have strings in common can I bar C minor with the ring finger after B flat or is that awkward oh yeah you could do that so okay Karen's question look up you have this and then she's just gonna lay down the ring finger here. Okay, uh, I love that because that's using a different finger to bar that's gonna build your strength there. So that is awesome, building some strength and using the fingers in a different way. I love it, good question. Juriela de Ocampo, hello. Okay, let's try it to, we're gonna add some singing. button 
right now. Roll the shoulders back, breathe. Next chord, but this one keeps strumming, okay? One, two, verse one, one, two, ready, go. something you're grateful for. Go ahead and get a sip. And cheers to you. We reached 112 likes. Okay. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Bring the ukulele to you again. Hey, remember that time we should be headed to Tennessee tomorrow? Oh, it was tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to get emotional. <sighs> Carrie and I were supposed to meet. The unicorn and I were supposed to meet. No, we're supposed to meet when we're supposed to meet. It'll happen. I know it will. Okay, here we go again. The verse. Um, fold yourself. Three. One. Two. One. on us not playing with bad posture but playing with good posture and breathing because that's really going to help those bar chords because we have two of them here the b flat and c minor and then two of our chords are stretching over three frets f minor and b flat stretch over three frets so that's not easy aluisa thank you cheers to you and your health thank you so much A different way to play C minor. I'll write it over here. Um, Ban Unicorn, I'm sorry I can't make it to your live stream, but if you let me know ahead of time, it would be better. Today, I'm taking my car for a VIN verification. 
Um, okay, so we have the third fret and the fifth fret. That's another way to play C minor if you would like to. Thank you for all the green hearts for our Luisa. That's another way to play C minor. So we have A minor, right? With the ring fingered, play A minor. And then move over one fret and bar. That's A sharp minor. Then we have B. Then we have C on the third fret. Okay, so that's a, a movable chord. If you d decide to do the barred version, it's just really nice because it teaches you a different way to play. Thank you, Julie, thank you. Okay. We're gonna do it again. Um, I wanted to do all three verses to build our endurance for playing. So here we go. One. A little faster. One, two, ready, go. Hi to India. F minor. just saw come in. Hi Don. Hi. Welcome. And everybody let's do a, a like button check-in. If you haven't hit the like button please do so now. This tells the YouTube robots to recommend this video. Okay felt pretty good. Good. My head still sings it's the. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay let's do it one more time. Wow. Two, one, two, breathe, ready, go. Two, shoulders back. Pull yourself up. Keep breathing. to the chorus next go ahead and stretch now next thing I would like to do is memorize memorize this chord progression because that's all we're doing so go ahead and look at it and uh, memorize it I am one of those old-school teachers who seriously believes in the power of memorization I think it's so important to memorize because once you memorize, you can look away from the sheet, look up and have better posture and focus on the other things. I'm working, but I have you guys cheering me in the background. Yay, hi Sayera. Okay, memorize it. It's C minor, F minor, B flat, C minor.
Okay, let's think of a word for each of those letters, like crazy, family, buys, cake. Okay, so we are on crazy, that's the C minor chord. Family is the FM, so I like that. Buys is the B flat, and C minor is cake, okay? Um, this is how many beats each chord is played. Thank you. I need to add that. So four beats each chord. Because some people like to just do down strums. Hi, Lola. So some people just do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Oh, hi. Welcome back. You want the chair here? You want to join me? Come on. Maybe she will jump up. I don't know. She's here for attention, of course. You want attention? Oh, pretty girl. Yeah. Oh, you're such a pretty girl. <laughs> All right. So hopefully you've memorized now. Okay. Try your best to do it by memory. Stretch up, one, two, three, two, and go, two, three, next chord, doing from memory, two, take my time, take my chance, minor on the board looks different. There's two ways to play C minor. You can play it this way or you can play it this way. Let me write that chord chart a little neater so that it makes more sense. So both of these would work. I just want to give you options because some of my people here really love the option of bar chords because they like to mute, they like to stretch the hand, they like a challenge. You know, like when you start getting really good at a subject, so you're like, oh, give me more, give me more. That's where they're at now. So I like to give the option of playing C minor a little differently for the people who are ready. And for the people who are not ready, I want your mind to start realizing that there's not just one way to play a chord. There are different ways to play it. And I want you to know that because nobody told me that when I was starting to play and I would have liked to have known that. I know that's exactly how I understood it. All right. Let's look at the chorus. So this was the verses. Okay. Pretty cool for memorizing, right? And if you're doing a set and performing for people, it's kind of fun to hi Beth um to have a song like this. It's gonna get people to like chant with you, and they will definitely chant that chorus with you. Okay, so let's go to the chorus. I'll use a different marker just so that it's clear. We have F, E flat, B flat, F minor, E flat, B flat. I'm trying to plan how I'm going to. That's a good marker. These are the things that get teachers excited. This is 
is not easy, okay? So just get your mind ready that this is not gonna be easy, but we're gonna learn how to do it together. And once you've done it, you're gonna feel so great to know that you've upped yourself a level in your plane. So that's the first phrase. Um, second phrase, F minor, E flat, B flat. So we start the same and hey, Allison, go ahead and grab your uke and play with us. I tend to do more talking with people in the chat when it's related to the lesson. And then the next part is F minor. Oh, I need to make those minors. Where are my manners? F minor, G minor. I lost my spot. A flat. And then you're gonna be super dramatic with a C minor. Okay, at the end. So chord charts needed. We need one for E flat. I'm gonna put the C minor actually over here. Okay. So we need a chord chart for E flat. This one's a friendly chord. And if you're commenting now, um, I'm sorry I'm not reading the comments right now because I'm facing this way, but uh, I know one of the mods will answer if you have questions. And we have G minor. And then the most unfriendly chord in the song is this one. And I'm just telling you that to be really honest with you. No use in lying right um let me feel it i don't know it by heart okay third fourth and fifth fret so you're gonna bar the third fret and then Add an F chord shape on part, <laughs> parts, on parts four and five. That's the most unfriendly chord. Let me add little arrows so it's clear. Okay. <laughs> so what does that mean, that A flat? Well, if we went to an F chord with our middle and ring, and you move that down to second and third frets and bar. Now you have a G flat. Now if we move it up, you have a G. So this is a cool way to play G. And if you move that to the third, fourth, and fifth fret, um, you have a flat. <laughs> My watch is saying time to stand up. Okay, so let's try just that F minor, E flat, B flat switch. Just give me one down strum. Here we go. One, two, ready. It's the eye of a tiger. It's the devil of fire. Rising up. Okay, so we have four beats. I'm gonna add the beats in. We have four beats on this one, and then two and two. Let me try again. Let me double check that. One. Two, ready, go. I have the tiger, it's that dream of the fun. Rising up to the challenge of our wild home. And that. Okay. Four. One and three. This is the num these are the number of beats. These are the number of beats. My Mexican accent is coming out the more pregnant I get. What is happening? How can E flat be a nicer chord than E? <laughs> that would make a really cool shirt. Okay, A flat is beautiful. Yes! Never thought I could be a fan of um, and a hater of a certain chord. Go E flat. A flat hates me. Wait, A flat's not that bad. I'm a drama queen. Okay, so... We have the third fret. I'm forming like a little duck, right? And I'm on the third fret and I'm not squeezing it. And then I add the F shape to, 
and I'm saying F shape because it's the same as an F chord, two frets, four and five, okay? Now I'm still relaxed, so keep breathing. Just squeeze the ring finger, got it. Go to the next one, go to the next one, go to the next one. Most of this is coming from here, look up, look at how I'm squeezing and not from building tension everywhere. Look at this, I'm not building tension up here. Hi Rita, relax, try again. Third fret, relaxed, I'm not squeezing it. And then put down the F shape, but on frets three and, I mean on four and five, okay, got it. If something gets this, just wiggle the index finger to find the sweet spot. Hi, Hallie. Now let's say that I get one muted string. That one. And the rest are fine. To me, that's still a win. Because that just means I'll get stronger. And that's okay. Okay, so let's do the first line of the chorus. We'll go super slow because we have that one beat on C minor. Now, look up real quick. This is super duper duper important because I want to teach you how to think. Thinking process lesson, here we go. That F minor. Don't think about going to C minor next. Think about where you're landing later. So it should be one, two, three, four. Okay, and we'll focus on that transition, but I want to just feel the line together. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, whole line. Pretty cool, right? Not a bad day. Let's try again. Whole line, you can do it. Breathe. Hit the like button if you haven't done so already. Unfold yourself. Unfold. Here we go. One. Exactly, David. One, two, ready, go. super chat that is so generous cheers all of these videos get um copyright claims so i don't get like full monetization i have to split it with the record companies so i really appreciate the super chats and the donations guys thank you okay let's look at our phrases we have eight beats here right and if we add this up that's eight beats as well we have eight beats here, but we have seven here. So, there is a moment of rest that is one beat. He's watching the soul with the eye, two, three, of the tie. And then we land this on tiger. That's what makes this such a dramatic moment in the song. It's actually the rest. I think it was Beethoven who was the first composer. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I remember 
Beethoven being the first composer who used a rest in music, like the absence of music to make this very dramatic moment in the song. So um, we're all borrowing from Beethoven anytime we have a pause. Watching a song with the eye of the tiger. That boom is that rest, okay? So let's try again, and then I want you to tell me, while we're doing this run through, go ahead and take a, a moment to type in here. If you're having a hard time with any part of this, I want to know so that I can focus on it with you. The drama is in the negative spaces. I like that. Here we go, one, two, Thank you, or uh, Venmo. Let's drop some blue hearts for Krishna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I made a mistake right now, and in that mistake, I made a glorious discovery. <laughs> Maybe some of you had caught it already. Look at the A flat and the C minor shapes. We're on the third fret and the fifth fret. We're on the third fret and the fifth fret. So you can be at that A flat. And just lift that ring, that middle finger, and you're at C minor. So from A flat, going to C minor, all you have to do is lift the, the middle finger. How cool is that? find a way to play that like super iconic moment oh this ukulele is the ortega that i've been playing this is the acacia series and i will add more information about it down below i love the sound of acacia i also like that this uke has like very simple details that make it really pretty like the binding is actually kind of like a brownish red tone it's not like a fancy binding and it has the binding down here. It's got um, gold accessories and tuners. So I think that makes it pretty. And I like the asymmetric headstock, like it's funky. So yeah. So experiment with your chord versions, it's worth it. That is a really good um, thought to have. I love learning new chords, gracias. You are a great teacher, thank you Gloria. I, I'm not a great teacher, it was just a mistake. And these mistakes tend to happen when you're practicing and you're like, oh, I learned something new just from practicing. I still end up deadening the strings while playing bar chords. If you're experiencing that, I think it could be two, one of two things. One, the action on your ukulele might be really high, making it almost near impossible for you to press down on those strings. Actually, it could be another item. If your strings are really new, they're still really tense. So continue playing your ukulele, practicing, so that those strings will kind of be more bendy, more flexible. Another thing that it could be is that the, the index finger, you're using maybe the, the fatty parts of it, the ones that have more flesh. So if you roll to the side of it, where it's more bony, you might have more luck. Okay? My gala has high action, I need to get it fixed. Yeah, definitely get it fixed and you'll feel really fat shaming fingers. <laughs> I was asking earlier if F minor is the same as five, five, four, three. Five, five. Yeah, that's another F minor. Five, five, four, three. Now I'm back on. 
that's actually convenient. Five, five, four, three, if you're doing this version of C minor, because you're already on five and three. So that's another option. I'm using a concert. I think this is concert. And uh, I've played it so much, I scratched off the the rosette, the, yeah, the, the rosette, and I'm very proud of that. I'm like, yeah, I'm practicing. Okay, here we go. One, two, again. Four, your posture, a little posture check. And thank you so, thank you so much. One, two, one, two, F minor. Go. I am the tiger, the thrill of the fight, rising up to the challenge of our There's a thing called a triplet. Uh, hi, Sabria. There's a thing called a triplet. And a triplet is what it sounds like, three. But here's what's tricky. It's three notes in the space of two. So the way that my teacher would ha teach us how to feel it is you tap or clap twice, but you say Saturday in the space of those two claps. Saturday, Saturday. Saturday, 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 right? So, watching us Saturday, Saturday night. So you can make that F minor and that G minor triplets. Saturday, Saturday, and we would land on the word night, right? So, Saturday, Saturday night. Try again. One. Two triplets, please. Saturday, Saturday night. Again, one, two triplets, please. Saturday, Saturday night. And on that night, I'm doing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. One and two and three. One e and a two e and a three. One e and a two e and a three. Is it okay to cross legs while holding the yoga in the lap? Yes, that's what I'm doing right there. So that's how I do it. <laughs> Sending major strength to you. Trust me, you'll love it once you survive for two weeks. Make Eye of the Tiger your theme song. Like, it's the Eye of the Tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. Your fight is your bar chords rising up to the challenge of our bar chord. Okay, here we go again. Let's do that F minor, G minor, A flat. One, two, triplet. One, two, ready, go. Saturday, Saturday night. C minor. Again. One, two, ready, go. Saturday, Saturday night. Again. the chorus. One, two, 
C minor to B flat. I think it's the C minor to B flat. Uh, but I'm not sure what the landing note would be after that. find that out for tomorrow that would be super helpful okay so let's go from the verse let's play the whole page actually we can do the whole page G minor is my frog forget E that G minor always gives me fits really Maria also struggled with G minor I think I think it might be uh, Hongbo this gives me goosebumps I love it I think you might need to focus a little bit more on your right hand holding position so that it's so but it is a tough chord to switch to especially in this song because we have nothing in common before or after but try to really fix that uh steady position over here f minor g flat i mean not that i know of there's not an easier way to transition there I, it's just learning a jump but if you want to give yourself more time give to just one strum it's the eye of the tiger it's the thrill of the fun rising up to the challenge of our rival and the last known survivor starts to break in the night and he's watching us always beyond of time So go ahead and do one strum per chord until your hand learns how to switch chords, okay? So let's do verse one. Look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. Verse one, verse two, chorus, look up, verse three. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, here we go. Let me raise up my music so I'm not looking down so much so I keep better posture. <sighs> I've been working you out. So go ahead, let's take a drink. Let's hit that like button. Let's get to 200 likes. We're almost there. Thank you to all the super chatters. Thank you to all the donations. Ooh, I'm working on a Disney song chord book of Disney hits for the patrons. So if you would like that, join us on the Patreon fam. It is a Disney themed activity book. So it's not just chord sheets, but like I I downloaded the fonts and I'm getting royalty free clip art and I wanna make it all black and white so that you can color it in so it can be a activity book as well. All right, here we go. Let's do a playthrough. One, two. Oh, uh, Karen wants to screenshot the whiteboard. This is a good chance for everybody to take a screenshot just so you can have that for review. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Beginning, I'm giving away a different book. I'll, uh, Kiara, remind me to talk about that once we do this playthrough so that I can close today on that note. Here we go, one, Two from verse one. Two, ready, go. Rising up, back on the street. Did my time, took my chances. In the distance, now I'm back on my feet. Do some So many times 
that? What is that? It's the chorus. Let's do the chorus again. One, two, the chorus. One, two, ready, go. I am a tiger, so full of the fun. Now you know exactly where your trouble areas are to focus on. We are going to spend another day on this to do the like a better showing pattern. Today's showing pattern is not like exactly what I would play if I was performing this. It's more just to get us doing all these difficult switches. We did 200 likes. Oh, and David gave a super chat. Let's drop some hearts for David. Thank you. Let's drop some turtles for David. David likes the turtle emoji. <laughs> okay, I feel ready for a fight. Fight those bar chords. Yes, I need to get better muscle memory G minor to A flat. Landola, thank you. Cheers. I like that little dancing lemon. Okay, so. Um, we're gonna work on this tomorrow so you can of course spend more time with it on your own or just wait for tomorrow I remember when I was taking private lessons like my teacher would say like make time to practice and I'm thinking this is my practice like the lesson is my time to sit down with you to actually spend time with the ukulele so I never and Jay just joined patreon hearts 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 so I never want to tell you like go practice spend an hour on this to be ready for tomorrow like no, I understand that for some people, it really helps to have this and this is your practice. So um, practice is optional outside of this. If not, we're going to spend some time tomorrow. Same time as we did yesterday. Now, what I wanted to mention that Kiara, Kiara reminded me. I thought it'd be fun to do a little challenge on my Instagram page. And so I asked people to take a picture of their ukulele outdoors something like this and we've gotten some really cool entries let me show you let me raise the brightness on this okay so um, people are going outside and taking their ukulele outside and taking a picture of it oh, I think that one's a different type of tag but it's really awesome to see um, everywhere where we are in the world this ukulele has a towel on its head, headphones in, sunglasses is enjoying the sun. So funny. I'm gonna choose 20 people and I'm gonna give them an activity book that I'll be working on after the Disney one. But, um, oh, look at this. So much thought goes into some of these where she's got a lavender scrunchie, a uh, lavender uh, ukulele, lavender flowers. Like, so pretty. Um, like a beautiful statue. So these uh, posts are getting really fun to to see. It's fun to see everybody else and where they're playing from, what our sceneries are. So anyway, I'm gonna choose 20 people to give away an activity book that I'll be working on that's uh, after the Disney one. And of course, the activity book will be available to all patrons. This is just for fun. This is just a fun like, let's see your uke and let's see your background type of um, activity for us to engage in. So yeah, don't feel obligated to do it. Hi, Gunny. Don't feel obligated to do it. It's just for fun. And uh, we've uh, come in at the hour. Thank you everybody for joining me. Um, I'm gonna make the, the really nice principle now that we've done this and I like that this one is right on. I'll add the beats and everything that you guys like. And then we'll revisit this tomorrow and uh, work on it. And then, who is that? Rebecca is saying E flat and G minor are very similar. You're right, the index finger and the third fret on E string are the same. It's just that moving down. Very good point. So that's interesting for form, right? To look at, we go from F minor to E flat, F minor to E flat, F minor to something that looks a lot like E flat. So 
Now you're thinking. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for the lesson. I hope that you had fun. I had a lot of fun. Thank you. Oh, some uh, Florence. Florence gave a super chat. Cheers to Florence. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Thank you. Cheers to your health and thank you for the super chat. Is there anybody else I missed? Okay, good. We got Florence. We got Landola. Somebody gave a PayPal, but it, it came at the same time as other notifications and I was not able to see who that was. But thank you for the PayPal um, tip as well. Thank you guys, thank you so much. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Sayonara. Cheers.